I am Dr. Shudip Dash, presently Professor and Head of the Department of Calcutta National Medical College. I am associated with Nightingale Hospital, Wisdom Money Square, Wisdom Shakespeare Sharoni, GNB Diagnostics, Kakurugachi. I have my own clinic in Madhyam Gram, which is Manju Memorial Clinic, and also with Eastern Diagnostics, Media Galif Street. The gonorrhea patients present with urethral discharge, thick mucopurulent com pus coming out of the urethral meatus in mainly in males and females it can be present copious vaginal discharge. Now what these patients will have in male say so severe dysuria, they have severe burning pain and what happens is that the patient complains of severe burning pain. The patient is very highly contagious at this phase. The will be edema, there will be lymphadenopathy and the patient feel what they feel, they are unable to when they micturate they find severe severe pain. Now, these gonorrhea patients are highly contagious and they develop very quickly after sexual relationship, maybe with a male, with, a, uh, with other commercial sex workers or others. Now, what you need to have, you find gram negative intracellular diplococci on smears. So, you should look for those, you should do an urethral smear, the doctor's concern should do an urethral smear and see those. And if the gram negative ICDC is present, then it is almost uh, certain that the patient has gonorrhea. Although we can do for culture or PCR in addition, but that is important. You will have a high pus cell count, count in the urine. If you do an urine for REME, the pus cell count will be around 20 to 25. So that proves that the patient has gonorrhea. It can be associated with chlamydial infection also. So then it is called post gonococcal urethritis because gonorrhea the incubation period is 1 to 9 days. In chlamydia it is higher. So when the gonorrhea gets cured, the patient may have another bout of discharge when it is called post gonococcal urethritis. The commonest cause of this is chlamydial infections. The chlamydial infections then need to be checked. That is why it is better advisable nowadays to treat both gonorrhea as well as this chlamydia as non, non which is known as non gonococcal urethritis at the same time. So, in a female, it is also advised, advised the female complains of urethral or vaginal discharge, do a speculum examination and if it is coming from the cervix, probably it is cervical discharge, which is likely to be gonorrhea or a chlamydial infection. Other causes of vaginal discharge are candidal infection, common infection is candidal infection or bacterial vaginosis or a uroplasma urolyticum infection. So, you need to differentiate those and treat accordingly. The physician should always come into the picture, they, he should do investigate and look for clue cells, look for, okay, you can even separate the chlamydia from by uh, collecting the sample in 2SP media and then do chlamydial PCR and chlamydial antigen which is now available and go for testings. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you want to contact me, contact careclues.com and find me.